Let's move on to Gavin Newsom, who just got re-elected to a four-year term as governor, but clearly only cares about becoming president. And so he set up a new political organization whose only purpose is to attack red states, the places Newsom's residents and businesses are fleeing to. He claims it's to fight rising authoritarianism. Rising authoritarianism. This is from the guy who abused emergency powers to rule by decree so he could reward his donors, whether that's the teacher unions by closing schools or big business by handing out corrupt no-bid contracts. Meanwhile, thanks to the California Democrat monopoly's far-left extremism, we see a cascading omni-crisis, including crime, homelessness, housing, energy, schools, everything. If Newsom's this uninterested in actually doing his job, he should do the decent thing and resign. Kevin, your thoughts? Well, actually, interestingly enough, he has done that on a temporary basis several times when he goes on vacations, <laughs> either in Mexico or in red states. California had a red state travel ban that it looks like we're going to get rid of now because Newsom has been caught himself vacationing in Montana on several occasions. But uh, yes, I mean, when it comes to Gavin Newsom, the line between parody and reality has just vanished altogether. Uh, as you said, California had the single most draconian response uh, to COVID in the entire country. I actually sued him over it. And he said in court that a yes. state of emergency centralizes the state's powers in the hands of the governor, effectively abolishing uh, the other branches of government. But when it came to business shutdowns, church shutdowns, school shutdowns, when it came to mask mandates, vaccine mandates, vaccine passports, each and every step of the way, California had the highest level of government coercion and control. And so for him to now say that he's launching some crusade against rising authoritarianism, you just can't make this stuff up. I know. The other thing that I just, I don't even know how to, how to begin to sort of think about how he processes this, which is he's, he's attacking red states. If red states are so bad, why are so many hundreds of thousands of California residents moving to red states? It's a great question. I mean, Newsom has pulled off this historic three-peat. What for three straight years, California leads the nation in one-way uh, U-Haul rentals. We just lost a seat in Congress because so many people uh, are leaving. And uh, you know, you look at what is happening to California. Just look at San Francisco. I mean, the San Francisco Chronicle uh, has an opinion piece, uh, an editorial, just from a couple of days ago, saying that San Francisco is on the verge of collapse. Literally, uh, yes. the city has a two ninety yes. million dollar budget deficit. Uh, it's a dystopian landscape when you walk through uh, that city's downtown. And yet Newsom says time and again that this is his model for the nation. He says California is a model for the nation. And what you and I know, and anyone who's lived in our state knows, is that it's a model of failure. It's not a model for the nation. It's a warning to the nation. And uh, I think that, uh, you know, the more ga time Gavin Newsom spends uh, out visiting other states, the more uh, people are actually going to get that message. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's totally bizarre. Um, anyway, he's doing it. Uh, we'll follow it. Kevin, great to see you. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.